Welcome to another price action training lesson. If I want to identify the high priority setups at the key entry points, I must understand the directional bias of the market. So what is the market structure telling me right now? Well, the structure is mainly bullish. We have bullish trend with the break, move to new extreme. This high is higher than the latest high inside of the channel prior to break. So according to channel now rule, I expect correction or reversal. However, if I'm going to analyze this bullish structure, I can see that we never truly managed to break below EMA and stay below EMA for a substantial amount of time. So this is still quite bullish. However, we have a break new extreme. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to pause longs and I'm going to observe what the price session is going to do. It looks like the price session is going to reverse down. But notice we have a new high. First bullish attempt to go long is already generating significant bullish momentum. So at this point, this is indicating to me, okay, if I can see just a first entry long, there's probably a wider, bigger channel in play because the structure is too bullish. So I can even look for channel like this, but I can see so much empty room at the top loss of momentum. So that's not the ideal channel. This channel looks visually better as a one steep tight leg as a spike, two legged pullback consolidation into a channel, spike and a channel pattern. So I'm going to connect the first two major swings. I'm going to copy it, put it at the top. And at this point, my bias remains bullish. And I'm looking for high priority setups to go long. You have a new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long if there's going to be trigger above this bar. But notice we are not fully at the EMA, at the key entry point. And there may be a little pullback lower, trap all the early bulls, so I cannot go long here just yet, even though it's a two legged pullback, we're not fully at the EMA. And you can see, generated a winning trade, but it's okay, I can't take it, I'm following the rules. Okay, prices are correcting and we have a new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long. And notice what is forming. Our key entry point, the spike and a channel is getting confirmed with the EMA, with the trend line. And also there's a small support being formed, small variation of a triple test. So we have a bullish bias. We have a second entry long and two key entry points, actually three, because we are also finding support at this triple test. And it's a decent first high priority setup for the day. This is where we want to buy when the correction phase will end at the key entry point and the brand new push phase will start. Okay, we have a high low here, potentially confirmation of the second entry long, but this high low forms so big right into highs of this trend range, you can't really go long this far up. When I was watching this, I had my limit order really deep, but prices managed to already push this far up and create the scalp. So you have to cancel the order. You might have considered engulfing, but it happened so quickly, you probably didn't have time. So you just have to wait this out because we're at the top of the small consolidation. Prices are losing steam. We're correcting and prices are going sideways. So what I have to do, I need to draw the short and down trend because I need to respect the correction and these channels will allow me to stay on the right side of the market and will not allow me to take setups too quickly. Okay, prices are correcting. We have a break and a new extreme. Okay, so at this point, what am I expecting? This spike and a channel needs to get new extremes. So if we're going to push above EMA, that's going to confirm the bullish momentum. Okay, it looks like first entry short, pullback, second entry short failure would be a great setup. We need to see if the EMA is going to hold. So I'm going to redraw a wider channel because at this point, spike and a channel needs to get new extreme. Downtrend played out. Okay, we can see the EMA is now holding and prices continue working lower quite strongly. So I need to adapt and I need to reanalyze the structure. That's okay. We didn't get the new extreme. This is a very significant bearish push down. And now I have two conflicting patterns. So this is going to happen when you're going to be trading. Not every single time the structure is going to be so easy where you know exactly what the market may do. You're going to have conflicting patterns. You need to realize when you feel like this, this is not a sprint. You don't have to know everything. There are areas on the chart where it's completely normal to just sit back, watch price action develop in front of you to give you more information, the better information, so you don't need to be over analyzing every single channel. Because this channel may get new high and this down to make it new extreme. So you pretty much have to just wait and see what the price action is going to do. Okay, I'm going to redraw the short and uptrend. And EMA is not rejecting, we are back above EMA. So it's starting to be really confusing. We have a new low first entry short, second entry short, failure. You can't go short your 5 from EMA, you can't go long, you have low high here, but it's not confirming much. It's right into this high of the day important key level. And also notice, this is why I'm marking this important key levels, the low of the day, 
and how the debut was in price action they may come into play and they may play a significant role so just wait be patient i was thinking possible felt second entry long but i went to see ema rejecting and this resistance rejecting and notice what is happening it's not rejecting and prices are going too sideways and this is too bullish you can see that this felt second entry long is almost higher than this lower high it's at the same level and this is not a good sign this is forming wide felt second entry long this is too sideways too bullish and now you can see that this trend may get new extreme so i need to be patient also what i can do i can look for a little bit wider channel something like this minor overshoot you have a first leg up break maybe the second leg up okay you have a break a new extreme i'm gonna mark my new high and now it's gonna be important what's gonna happen and prices continue working lower so we had area on a chart where it's quite hard to understand what exactly is going on so you just need to be patient sit and watch price action develop in front of you but now it's time to get obvious we're not going to get new extreme of this uptrend anymore that can happen sometimes eight or nine times out of ten the trend line rule will apply but nothing is perfect in price action market may straight reverse and this is what is happening right now i'm going to redraw the short and uptrend and i can see that the prices continue working low we have a new low first entry short pullback second entry short horrible bullish bar if i'm selling i need to sell below bearish bar i cannot take it and then we have a felt second entry long counting from this high because we corrected to the key entry points and notice the resistance is coming into play again this is why it is so important to pay attention to these lines and there are simple lines to draw you just work with them we broke came back tested it so second entry short has a horrible bullish bar and felt second entry long same story so remember we're selling we want to sell below nice strong bearish bar we want to see the confirmation and since I can see prices working more like this, I need to adapt. Because we're already in the middle of this trend range, I'm going to look for a bigger pattern, something like this. I'm just going to copy it, put it at the bottom. And right now you can see first swing, second swing will set up the trend line, third swing confirmation, prices continue getting rejection off the EMA, and the structure right now is bearish. So what I need to do, I need to respect the short and uptrend. Let this uptrend play out, and I'm gonna look for high probability setups to sell. It's going to be second entry short, lower high, or felt second entry long. Give you a first entry short. We have a second entry short here. If this is going to be triggering, this is going to be a great second entry short. Why this would be a great second entry short? Well, notice uptrend played out with the break new extreme, indicating that the bullish correction played out. And we have a first leg up, break, second leg up. So this is what you want to see. Two leg a pullback, just like here, two leg a pullback, two leg a pullback, you can have a two leg a pullback here, but it didn't trigger. When you're watching this live, it didn't trigger. Notice this is the key entry point at the trend line, you expect new low. So, unfortunately, the idea to sell here is perfect. You want to go short below nice bearish bar, but notice no trigger and no trigger again. So, you can't really go short here because it's stalling. Once you see entry not triggering below the single bar and it stalls, you know, that's a little bit not a good information so even though you want to go short here i feel you i want to go short here as well but you really want to see that lower high confirming it or felt second entry long which never form but you can see in price action you have a push phase correction phase and this is exactly what you want to sell push phase two-legged pullback correction phase will end and a brand new push phase will start this is how price action works it moves in a pairs of twos the main bias is bearish and right now i can see that we have a break and a new extreme for the main downtrend so this means i'm going to be pausing my shorts we have a new low first entry short we have a second entry short and notice what is happening i can't really take it because we have a breaking new low but prices continue working lower again so this is indicating to me the prices are a little bit too bearish because when you have breaking new extreme and you have pushed to new low push to new low and prices keep pushing to new extreme this is telling you that the market may be a little bit more bearish than expected. Strong injection of the EMA. And if you're going to look closely, if you're going to look at 10,000 tick chart, you may see that there is actually a nice possibility for channel to be a little bit wider, something like this. So this is what I ended up adjusting it later on in the day, something like this. You can see it's not distorting your price session. This is how you know that you can widen it because you still get the first two swing confirmation three swing confirmation as well so you make it a little bit wider 
but you're still keeping the price action pretty much the same still three swing confirmation it is important because sometimes when you widen you have no confirmations here or you get some early break and it's a sign that okay i'm gonna stick to the tighter one but once you can widen just a little bit and still keep the same price action intact that's a good sign that the channel may be wider so at this point prices are a little bit too bearish again you have a first entry short and we have a great tier one single bar closing below ema and we have a second entry short which is a great high probability setup now this setup is a bit more nuanced because we're bouncing off to low the day but you're focusing on ema rejection here 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 and here if you're a beginner trader you may want to wait for a low high if you're a more experienced trader and you can see the clues of a bearish bias you definitely can consider taking this second entry short low high formed way too far down notice this is a confirmation setup in case something is wrong with the second entry short or you're not sure low high is a confirming the second entry short or any other high probability setup for that matter great here one single bar had it close a little bit higher closer to the ema would have been perfect but you have to sell directly into the low today support so far down you know it worked here but you know next time it may not work so we come on the market as a high priority setup because you cannot trade like this you need to have consistent rules that you follow for the most part there is element of subjectivity of course based on experience but i feel you're pushing it way too much here selling directly into these lows and it's too far away from the ema as well but right now what i'm going to do i'm going to mark overshoot because we're breaking the channel again i already widened it here a little bit but i'm going to widen here again and i'm going to respect this as an overshoot which means I expect stronger bullish momentum, but it's not the only thing why I expect stronger bullish momentum. Can you guess another reason why I expect stronger bullish momentum? It's simple. The low today support, we just broke below it. And this is a large trading range on a big picture. So you're combining, we actually talked about this, I believe, in our last price session trading lesson. You're combining the overshoot. Last time we combined with the high today, here we're combining with the low today key level. So you can always use these two important price session clues. Everything you can gather from price session. You don't need any indicators. Everything can be provided to you from pure price session. So you have overshoot. I have low today. So I'm expecting stronger bullish bounce. I have a second entry short. But notice it is an inside bar of this bullish bar. And this bar is horrible. So I cannot take it either way. We expect stronger bullish momentum. I'm going to be patient. But even if you don't have overshoot, this signal bar is so bad. Inside bar, you can't take it regardless. So hopefully none of you took it. I'm going to make my channel wider like this. Okay. And this is confirming our wider channel. And notice where the prices are founding resistance again. So this is a good sign that our channel is valid. We have first entry long. Okay. And we have massive push down. So when I was watching this, my initial idea when I'm watching this is let the correction play out with the break new high and then look for felt second entry long. But once we can see that the prices are, the sellers are taking control over the market and we can't even make second entry long above the EMA, you know, the bearish bias is resuming and in price action, the bigger picture, the bigger trend is always more important than the short one. So because the trend line held, you have first entry long, break below EMA, second entry long, failure, a little bit micro first entry short, second entry short, you have to technically reset the count, your micro double bottom. A little bit more aggressive for my liking, but more advanced trader can consider this. I wanted to see legitimate second entry short without count reset, but it never formed a market continue working more. And notice the low today support is rejecting prices again. And now you have second entry short. Can you take it? You cannot. Why? Because you're right into the low today support. You can see it rejected here again. It's not fully at the EMA and the option doesn't have a new high. And you can see how sideways it is starting to get and you have overshoot so here you're selling because you're selling quite high near the trend line with room to get out here you already missed the move the sell generated move down and even though it is tempting you can't really sell here you know one trader messaged me and he took it i can see why but it's really not the best setup because you have overshoot and you're selling directly into these lows and these lows held so it's better to be patient here you would have gotten stopped out here if you took this trade you know the risk is small so i can see why but it's really better to be patient. And now you have a double trap, but you can't take it as well because it is too wedgy, no room together. You can see how it's time to go sideways. Yeah, it worked for a scalp, 
but you can't take it. Just be patient. Market is trending higher. So what I'm going to do, because the EMA is flattening and we have swings up and up and down, there's also a chance for me to draw a smaller chain range. And what am I expecting now? Well, notice this is the first leg, break, second leg, and market created new extreme for this uptrend, break new high, even for this tight one. So both uptrends have new high. Overshoot played out, and because we traded down, this downtrend is clearly in play. We're breaking above the trend range. So what am I expecting? Resumption of bearish bias. We have a trend range structure. Most breakouts will fail. You have a larger two legged pullback market moves in pairs of twos. And this first uptrend played out finally with the break and new extreme. However, I cannot just sell randomly. I want to see push bull EMA and lower high or full second entry long. No tick above this bullish bar. This means there is no entry because there is no break higher. So by the time I get a lower high, it's too far down, which you can't take. And we already missed the move. We traded all the way down without a chance to enter. That can happen sometimes. We can't really do anything about this, but you can see how price session works. Okay, now you have a felt second entry long, but now you want to be patient. I'm not cherry picking. The reason why you wouldn't be patient because you already reached the move down, the support again, okay? Remember, you want to catch the felt second entry long while the market is on the way down. Now you already missed the move down. It's bouncing at the support again. So now you need second entry short, okay? You know, if you took it, I may mark it. I really don't like it, but you have to be quite experienced trader. So if you took it right here, you know, such a tiny bar, you may give it a chance, but you want to make sure you have a felt second entry long before it already reaches the move down. You want to take the felt second entry long, capitalizing on the move down. That's why it's a trap. Okay. So you're waiting for a second entry short. You have a break, new high, and now you have a second entry short. New low, first entry or second entry short. Small break right with the uptrend and EMA keeps rejecting. Remember, downtrend played out. So this is a great high probability setup. I tried to take the setup myself. I never got filled because it was too quick and market created new extreme. So you can see perfect price action. And I also want to explain why you need to respect the support here more and less to expect support here. Because you may think, okay, Thomas, we bounce auto load day here. Why are we not worried about selling here and we are worried about selling here? It's simple. When you're selling here directly into the bottom, this is just a first lag after overshoot and this channel may get new high. While once you're selling down here, you're already selling after the two leg pullback played out. This uptrend has a new extreme and even the overshoot is already losing momentum. So selling here has more sales in the market because the bullish correction play out while selling here, the bullish correction is still in play and you have plenty room to get out before reaching the low today support. So this is why it's better to sell here and you have to be a little bit careful selling here. Now you have a break new extreme. So what I have to do, I need to pause looking to sell, but the market's been quite bearish. I can't really go long, break new high. We're pushing back below EMA again. Horrible bar for lower high. And market keeps going sideways. We have a break, new high. Price is pushing below EMA, horrible, lower high again, bullish bar. Maybe if you have bearish bar here, you can consider lower high because you have another break new high and the support is acting as a resistance and market continues working lower. And then pretty much market stalled. I only saw two quite aggressive setups, but this is so difficult to trade. This is so unclear, just very range like without static support and resistance. So at the end of the day, there wasn't pretty much no good setup because you can see it is too range like, but you still keep reading lower highs, lower lows, but you don't get any good setup. Everything is too low. You can't buy prematurely, not a good area to trade. All the best setups today and easy price action was pretty much the first half of the day. After there's a break new extreme, the market just entered a very long consolidation that was very difficult to navigate. But this one, you can see you're selling at the very top where the low of the day is coming into play again and acting as resistance. So I hope you had a decent training day. I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to talk to you next time. Good luck with your trading.